Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Volo Motorsports. This is a beautiful 1966 Ford Mustang. I would say this is a driver quality piece with tasteful modifications. If you want to find out full details on this specific ride, click on the link below. We offer transport options and financing options. This ride is going to be headed to an auction. So what I want you guys to do before you call us, take a look at the description and see what's going on. So if it says headed to bring a trailer, that means it's going to auction and that's why there's no price. Now let's go into full details on this ride. Okay, so rating wise, I would rate this easily a six out of 10. So that'd be a D on the rating scale. It shows extremely well, but there are minor imperfections throughout. So there's gonna be scratches, uh, small imperfections near the quarter, which we'll show you. But if you step back five to seven feet, it looks perfect. It does have a five lug conversion with disc brakes up front and drums in the rear. We had to send this out to a transmission shop to get the transmission rebuilt. So it does have a warranty from a transmission shop and it has less than 30 miles on that rebuild. Interior is extremely nice. It does have the aftermarket steering wheel that's similar to the GT350 steering wheel. It does have vintage air and it has the fast fuel injection system. We'll start off with the engine bay and I can go over some of the items I'll see. So I purchased this out of Mississippi from an auction and we had to go through it just to get it to where it is today. It does have MSD ignition with a uh, 6AL box. It has a, a serpentine setup. It's a Jasper 302. Uh, easy TCU for the uh, fast fuel injection, which is right here. There's your fuel pressure regulator. It does have a heater valve. And then the suspension. So you're seeing this bracing right here. This does have coilovers in the front. And if you look at the gallery, Below, you're going to see all the underside shots. So every car we sell has undershot, underside shots and any imperfections are going to be showcased in the gallery. Underneath here, you're going to see the CCP control arms, which are tubular, big oil pan, and the disc brake conversion. It does have the fog lights up front, aluminum champion radiator, and an Optima battery. It does have a hood scoop and the paint shows very well on the, on the passenger side. You do have some minor imperfections around these areas right here. You can see some bubbling, but overall, this is all, this all feels like metal and it's very nice underneath. As I open up the door, you're gonna see that the light is illuminating under the dash. It does have an aftermarket radio. Seats look to be original and the carpets look to be original as well. Still has the original uh, sills, and you can see that they did do some welding here at some point. Back seat's very nice, and there are some of the receipts that will come with it. What's nice about this car is it's fuel injected, so you let it run for a second, you'll hear the fuel pump prime, and it'll start right up. So let's go in the back. It's kind of a mellow sound, dual exhaust, and when you look underneath it, it still has the leaf springs in the rear with upgraded uh, coil style shocks. LED lights, so when I push the brakes, you're gonna see that they illuminate in an LED pattern. Dash has Dakota digital gauges, and it sounds really good. I hear a little bit of squealing from the serpentine belt, and it's starting to rain, so let's take this for a test drive before it starts raining. We have a cold front coming here, coming in here over the weekend, supposed to get to the 30s. But right now, it's super hot and I'm sweating. So let's put the air on and go for a ride. We're inside right now. You do have an auxiliary charging port, so you can plug in a cigarette lighter or a charger. Then your air condition controls are right here. So I think you turn it on like this. There we go. And it'll blow. I hear the compressor turn on. Not bad. Uh, radio works. Let's find a station. So 
works. All the gauges here, so they're upgraded. So the fuel gauge is working. We've got great voltage right now. Um, TAC works. Temperature is slowly rising, and we have 60 pounds of oil pressure. I'm going to turn the air off. Actually, it feels pretty good. Leave it on? Okay. Headliner is showing age, so I would rate this a 6 out of 10 in regards to overall quality. Uh, you can enjoy it, but there are things that you can do to make it much better. We have 100% positive feedback on selling cars for the past 12 years, and the reason for that is because we're going to showcase a car exactly how it is. I'd rather tell you what's wrong with it than you get the car and you go, John, why did you take advantage of me? This is why we've been successful and this is why we keep on selling on Bring a Trailer, which is a great platform and many other auction sites as well. If you have any additional questions about this ride, you can always call us at 954-363-2261. If you want to just get a quick transport quote, you can go to our website and click on the transport tab and that'll help you out. Let's put the wipers on. So wipers do operate. I think this guy's trying to back up all the way. During the test drive, we had to pull over because the windshield wipes, wiper switch wouldn't uh, deactivate. I just pulled the plug. I didn't want to scratch the glass. So that's, that's the start of our test drive here. Welcome to classic car ownership. Uh, right now, our voltage is really good. Our uh, temperature is around 185, so the thermostat's gonna probably open up soon, and we'll see that. So this does have the newer model Mustang wheels from, I believe, a 2002, 2003. Looks like the Mach 1 style wheel or bullet style wheel. Uh, they do rub a little bit if you have, if you take corners pretty sharp. But when you're driving around town like this, there's no issues at all. Make sure my fan's on here. Brakes feel good, they're not spongy. I almost should have just left the uh, windshield wipers plugged in, huh? All right, we're cruising down Marina Mile right now. I should not have unplugged the windshield wipers because now we need them. Uh, we're going to head back to the warehouse before it gets real bad. Tried to get a real nice test drive for you. We're going to turn right here and I'll accelerate so you can see how it sounds. Brakes feel good. Turning right here. broke loose. Well, obviously it's raining. <laughs> Feels good. We'll get some outside shots right here on this road. You guys can make a decision if this is the right Mustang for you. I apologize for the rain. We tried to beat it, but it didn't happen. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Have a great day.